Okay, let's talk about the upcoming primary election. Many of you will vote in a new congressional district for the first time in 10 years. Oregon went through redistricting last year and added the 6th district to the map. Here's a closer look at where it is. As you can see, it includes Yamhill and Polk counties, the city of Salem, and part of the Portland metro area. So cities like Tigard, Tualatin, Sherwood, and Wilsonville are in this new district. And if you're not sure, see if you can find a postcard like this that came to all of our homes. It tells you what district you live in. I'm in the third congressional district. Since the sixth is a brand new seat, that means there's no incumbent, which is a huge, huge deal. Incumbents nearly always win, but this race, this one is wide open. 16 candidates, look at that, are running nine Democrats and seven Republicans. Some you've probably heard of. Two are current state representatives. One is a former Multnomah County Commissioner. But the guy winning the money race, who you've seen on TV a lot now in ads, is a Democrat named Carrick Flynn. If you're saying, who is that, you're not alone. Although I'm guessing, indeed, you've seen him either on TV or YouTube or somewhere, because it seems like he's everywhere. Maybe you've gotten some of his flyers in the mail. A lot of people have the same question, though. Who is Carrick Flynn? His website says he grew up in the small town of Vernonia in the coastal range and overcame hardships like poverty. He then went on to University of Oregon and Yale Law School. After that, he lived in a bunch of different countries working on human rights issues and technology like artificial intelligence. He only recently returned to Oregon. And as Willamette Week first reported, he's never been very politically active, at least as a voter. He's always been registered to vote in Oregon, unlike former governor hopeful Nicholas Kristof. But Flynn voted just twice in the past 14 years. That's in the 2008 and in the 2016 general election. His campaign says that's because he spent so much of his time out of state. We asked Flynn about his lack of political experience, and he countered by saying in part, I believe I actually have the right experience in government, having worked with Congress and the Biden administration to help craft pandemic preparedness policies and other measures. He also says he'll bring a strong outsider perspective. So that's Carrick Flynn. But the other big question is, where's all his money coming from? Most of it is coming from a political action committee called Protect Our Future. It's funded by a cryptocurrency billionaire named Sam Bankman Freed. They've spent, get this, almost $6 million on Flynn's campaign. That's a huge amount, especially compared to the money his challengers have on hand. On top of that, Flynn just got another million dollars from the House Majority PAC, which is tied to Democratic leadership in Congress. That's notable because it means the National Party is basically saying, yeah, this is our guy. I talked to our political analyst, Len Bergstein, about that. So there's a lot of reasons why uh, Congressional District 6 is important. Uh, the stakes are high. Uh, control of the United States House of Representatives is up, and almost every seat matters. So a new seat that's up with no, with no incumbent makes it very important. The Democratic race is also important because there's a bunch of candidates, and all of a sudden one candidate who is virtually unknown and really hasn't voted in a lot of, uh, and demonstrated a lot of interest in politics is all of a sudden the front runner in the sweepstakes for money, getting $1 million from a national political campaign called Majority PAC that's a, supposed to elect Democrats, that's their job, but they're not supposed to step into a contested primary. And that's exactly what Flynn's fellow Democrats are saying. A group of them released a statement condemning the big donation from the House Majority PAC. They also held a press conference earlier this week. This effort by the political arm of the Democratic establishment to buy this race for one candidate is a slap in the face to every Democratic voter and volunteer in Oregon. And it's especially concerning in a year when all resources must go to protecting the Democratic majority. This is a highly competitive Democratic primary with many strong candidates, as you can see. The field includes four women, three of which are women of color, and two men who all have a experience working in the legislature and have local office, science, the military, and health care. Not to worry, our photographer's okay there, just kind of lost their balance. One of the candidates also brought up the fact that Flynn is being funded by cryptocurrency billionaire at a time when that industry is trying to increase its influence in politics. Here's what Len had to say about Sam Bankman-Fried, the guy writing the checks, and why he's backing Flynn. 
you know, it's hard to know exactly why they, why they want it. He seems to have a little bit different point of view about regulating cryptocurrency. I'm just getting, just reading the national stories. It's not exactly that he wants to deregulate the industry, but it's unclear what his motivation is. He says in the stories that he's been quoted that he's drawn to Carrick because he's a smart guy. He's interested in pandemic issues and preparedness. He's a science-oriented candidate. And that's the kind of thing that this guy, uh, Bankman Fried, cares about. It, it obviously raises so many questions uh, and, uh, and suspicions that people who are cynical about someone who's going to really pump so much money into an unknown candidate. We reached out to Flynn about some of these questions. Here's what he told us about all that crypto money. I am running on a core belief that this pandemic could have been avoided with stronger science-based leadership. Myself and other candidates have received the independent backing of individuals who share this commitment to future planning, but my campaign has no direct engagement or funding from these sources. It is true that crypto billionaire is not directly pumping money into the campaign, but that's how political action committees work. They buy a bunch of ads to support the candidate they want, which is exactly what's happening here.